Welcome back. So, in the last lecture video, uh, we derived the weak function for 2D elasticity problem. So, the final expression that we got was integral ok. So, this should be actually the the closed integral and on the boundary and we had w t and here it was t d gamma minus omega then del s w transpose of that then d then del s u d omega plus integral of w transpose times b d omega all added up to 0. So, this is the weak form today we are going to add more details in terms of w and u being a function of x and y now through the shape functions. So, for a general element let us say we have general element which uh, looks like it could be any number of nodes. So, here I have 6 node let us say 2 d element, but it could be even more. So, let us say n is the total number of nodes in one 2 d element. So, general purpose uh, derivation we are doing. So, n assuming n is is the total number of nodes in one element. This is one, one example element where we have 5 corners and one in the middle is so, a total n uh, in this case n equal to 6, but this is just for example. So, we are talking about any number of nodes. So, we will do uh, some derivation for arbitrary number of nodes in one element and later on we will take the examples of 3 noded element or 4 noded element or 6 noded elements and etcetera. So, if n is the total number of nodes in one element, then there will be total a small n number of nodes. So, uh, or uh, uh, what I mean is uh, total n number of shape functions what I mean. So, so uh, shape functions will be shape functions will be n 1, n 2 to n n. Now, relationship is x will be equal to summation of n i x i where i equal to 1 to n. Similarly, y equal to summation 1 to n n i y i where x i y i is the coordinate of the ith note ok. Now, this deflection u u x y is also given as summation i equal to 1 to n n i 
which is a function of x y only ok and n i times u. So, this is a vector. So, u i vector we are talking about. So, or simply we can write also that really means what we want to say is u x x y u y x y is equal to summation from 1 to n n i x y multiplied by u x i and u y i like this. Okay. So, in this vector form, so that really that really means uh, u x x y equal to summation of n i times u x i and u y equal to summation of n i times u y. So, we can also write separately. Okay. Now, since uh, w i with w x y can be assumed to have the same form. So, has the same form as u x y. Hence, we can also write w x x y w y x y is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n n i x y and then w x i w y i vector here. Okay. That or in a compact form, we can write it as w vector x y summation of i equal to 1 to small n n i x y and w x y. Oh, sorry, the, uh, w i not x y not a function of x y as w i okay, vector. So, this is same as this equation, this equation, but this in instead of uh, instead of explicitly uh, expressing w in terms of w x and w y, we are writing that is only one symbol okay, and which is a vector. Okay. So, what is next? We are going to put these values, values of u and uh, w in the original uh, equation of motion or original equation of equilibrium or the rather this is the, the weak formulation of the equation of equilibrium. So, uh, so we can write here as uh, first is close integral comma and then what do we have? We have w w t. So, we write the everything here. So, i equal to 1 to a small n, n i x y and w i. Okay. So, this is transpose and then t 
okay, the vector gamma. Okay, and then uh, minus del S and then N i uh, rather summation i equal to 1 to N N i x y w i ok. So, this the whole thing transpose of that then we have d then del s again summation i equal to 1 to a small n and n i x y ok and uh, rather here we we should use the different symbols. So, instead of say i we said say j we so that we do not confuse between this i and this one. So, we write j here. So, n j let us write like that x y and then w j uh, not w here it should be u here. So, u j like this and t omega everything equal to 0. Okay. Fine. So, uh, what is next? We have to simplify. So, we said or and we write is as okay, comma and then uh, we will have to express in terms of matrix rather than in form of summation. So, we will re remove the summation symbol and how will we do? So, instead of writing this one, we are going to write the dot product of two vectors. So, this is the cyclic integral or closed integral. Uh, uh, here we can write it as like this. So, n 1 n 2 to n n ok. Again, every all of these transpose. So, we have to make transpose as well and here this is w 1 w 1 w 2 to w n ok. Uh, well, can we write like this ok. So, first we have to actually see how we can write this summation as a, a matrix form ok. So, let us not write this right now. Uh, let us let us first expand what is the meaning of this one. So, or let us start with just u. So, we are writing u like here. So, let us expand it further. So, as I wrote earlier, so u x y is we wrote it as i equal to 1 to n and we wrote n i and u u i ok. So, summation so th this uh, denotes the displacement at ith node and this is a vector. So, that means it will have a x component and y component both ok. Similarly, this u also has a both com uh, both the components x component and y component. So, we also expanded that and how we wrote? We wrote the u x 
x y and u y x y okay like this and and then this has to be here like this so in terms of a vector we will have to write some something here and here we have to write in terms of in terms of u but remember it has ui vector has two terms ux i and ui i and then i is from 1 to n so let's expand it here so we write like this u x 1 u a u y 1 u x 2 u y 2 till u x n and u y n so let's uh, write this the element displacement vector let's write like this one okay so then if, if that is the case then there has to be two rows here so that we multiply it and we get two rows here so of course that really means here we will have n1 and then the first one is a function of x component only so second is but here this side if you see x component then y component x component then y component and so on hence we will have n1 0 n2 0 and so on okay and at the end we will have n n small n and then 0 and here it will be 0 n1 0 n2 and then then 0 and n n so here we have this uh, shape function matri uh, matrix or n matrix here so here you, you have u matrix u vector and here this is a nodal displacement vector yeah uh, let's uh, write it as u vector function of xy is equal to n matrix multiplied by u e matrix or u e vector u e here means this 2 n by 1 vector which has nodal displacement the components of nodal displacements so u x 1 u y 1 being the x and y components of the displacement at first node and so on similarly we can write it as write it write the w weight function as n and then w e vector where w e will be w x 1 w y 1 and so on so let us write it here w e transpose is equal to w 1 uh, w x 1 w x 2 so on so w x w x n w y n and so on ok now let us put these values these two expressions into these these equations which are nothing but the the weak form but we have replaced w vector and u vector with the shape function and nodal 
displacement or weight values okay so that's we will do on the next page so so the the weak formulations becomes like this so we have close integral and we had w transpose so w here is now n multiplied by w e so so we have transpose of that like this <coughs> okay and then uh, we have traction t here so d gamma minus omega so n w e uh, sorry minus omega and we have del s and then n omega e transpose of that then we have d and then del s n u e so we also had tilde over it so like this and d omega plus the body force term vertical over whole uh, domain then n w e transpose of that and b d omega everything added to be 0 ok or or we now transpose it so we have cyclic integral here this goes that side so this becomes w e transpose n transpose and then t d comma okay then we write the second term here minus so here only n is a function of x y okay so this will operate on this one only okay and this is this has the constant value so this has w1 uh, wx1 wx2 this are nodal values so this uh, we can rewrite as del s n okay del s n and and w e transpose of that d and similarly here so del s n u e d omega plus uh, here also uh, uh, we can do uh, since this is transpose so this will come first so uh, let's write plus plus mega w e t n t b 
d omega equal to 0 ok or or so we are going to repeat w e t n t t d gamma minus omega now we are going to transpose it so w e t ok so w e t and then we have del s n transpose then d then del s n then u u e d omega plus omega w e t n t b d omega everything equal to 0 ok. Now, we can take w e out of all of these. So, or we can write w e uh, rather w e transpose of that and taking this out. So, we have cyclic integral over gamma. So, n t t d gamma ok. Now, this one so, we write here uh, let us write this one then th this one this one right here. So, plus omega n t b d omega then minus integral omega w is gone out so we have del s n t d del s n ok and then so this gone out del s n transpose d del s n and this also we can take outside so we say here d omega and u e rather e like this u e ok and everything does equal to 0 here ok. So, we have to close the bracket. So, this is the equation we get after taking w e common and taking u e outside of the integral because this is constant this has the nodal displacements which are taken as constants. So, this is how it will look like. So, let us rewrite since, since uh, w e t is arbitrary arbitrary as we know that uh, w x uh, w x y is uh, arbitrary because this the equation the weak form is valued for any function w vector and to formulate w we wrote 
the original uh, w function as a function of the shape functions and the nodal w values so since weight w is arbitrary hence the nodal values of w is also arbitrary and that really means that the our equation this equation is valid for any w at, and that is only possible when everything under the bracket is equal to 0 so so that really means that we write now equation the cyclic the sorry the closed integral for gamma n t t t gamma plus integral omega n t b d gamma uh, d omega minus minus mega and del s n t d del s n d omega and then u e equal to 0. Now, let us uh, call del s n as B matrix ok assumed assumed we call it like this. So, in that case uh, what we will get is and now what we will do this we write first and then we write this one ok and with uh, del s n replaced with B. So, what do we get? We get integral omega and then B t d b d omega then u e is equal to and n t t d gamma plus omega n t b vector d omega ok. So, this is how it will look like. Now, we will call this as k e. So, this is the this is actually the element stiffness matrix. So, we say k e and this one we call it this is because of the boundary. So, let us call it this is a force vector basically, but boundary. So, f and because of t so say this is f t plus and this one we call it let us call it f b. So, this like this ok. So, or we write k k e u e is equal to f t plus f b where where k e is a stiffness matrix element stiffness matrix given by integral over omega b t d b d omega and then this is u e is uh, composed of so u e composed of nodal displacement vector such that this is u x 1, u x 2 sorry u y 1, u x 2, u y 2 and so on till u n, u x n, u y n. So, till like like this one ok. Now, u is given this f t. So, f 
t is nothing but this is because of the boundary traction so n t t d gamma f b is equal to omega n t b d omega ok. So, this what the equation is and we have to find out k e or element stiffness matrix which can be assembled in case you have more than one element. Similarly, F t the force vector element force vector because of the boundary traction can also be assembled into the global force vector in case you have more than one element and similarly for force because of the body force. So, this also this is for element only which can be assembled into the global force vector. Okay. Let us now expand the B matrix which we wrote it as B equal to del S n. So, let us expand that let us see how it looks like on the next page. So, we said B equal to B equal to n del S n ok, where we know that where where del S is equal to rather it is two dimensional. So, this is uh, del over del x 0, 0 del over del y and here del over del y and del over del x. So, that we know from previous video lectures and n in in this lecture we already we, we have seen the form of n and n is equal to nothing but 2 rows this is n 1 0 n 2 0 and so on and then it is n n 0 and second row is 0 n 1 0 n 2 and so on then 0 and then n n. So, this is how the n looks like ok. So, uh, this is uh, 3 by 2 and this is 2 by 2 by 2 n ok. So, this one is 3 by 2 matrix and this is 2 by 2 n matrix ok. So, b will be naturally 3 by 2 n. So, b will be 3 by 2 n. So, b b if you write it here we combine them together. So, we get it del over del x 0 0 del over del y then del over del y del over del x and then this one n. So, n 1 0 n 2 0 n n 0 and here 0 n 1 0 n 2 0 n n. So, we write it like this one ok and so b becomes equal to we write is equal to and you see first row first column here. So, what we get this multiplied by this. So, we can write it here this will be 3 by so we write like here so becomes del over del n 1 del x and this multiplied by this is 0 so it becomes 0 here then we have del n 2 del x then 0 and so on then we have del n n over del x 
then 0 we have second row now second row this row multiplied by the first one so what do we get 0 multiplied by 0 so first becomes 0 then this will be this multiplied by second one so del over del n on over del y so del n1 over del y 0 del n2 over del y okay then we get 0 here and del n2 over del y we get like that last one last row if you see is del over del y or del over del x so if you see here so th this becomes del over del del over del y this become uh, n1 this become del n1 over del x okay so this here second row this one uh, third row here the second column so for that n1 goes to del x now so that's why n1 del x and so on so they n2 del y del n2 del x goes similar fashion here del n n okay here it should be n n okay so del n n over del y and del n n over del x okay so goes like this <coughs> so this is how the b matrix will look like okay so so far we have the general uh, formulation now we will look at one example so which example so we will uh, le we will look at the three noded triangular element and let us see uh, how the B matrix will be and from there we will go ahead and find out the stiffness matrix. Uh, let us draw the three noded element here first. So, let us say this is a three noded element. Okay. Domain omega which has B the body force which is given in this case uh, and then let's say this is 1 2 and 3 it has nodal displacements uh, ux1 uy1 then ux2 and uy2 ux3 and u y 3. So, uh, so u u e we called for this three noded 2 d element uh, three noded 2 d element so um, uh, triangular element. So, for this n equal to 3 of course and u e will be in this example will be equal to u x 1 u y 1 u x 2 u y 2 u x 3 and u y 3. So, this is what the u will be. Okay. Now, the uh, shape functions in this case as you know uh, for that we have to find out first the area so area of this as you know will be we studied during the heat transfer problem so x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 where x1 y1 the coordinate of the first node so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 is the coordinates of second node so x2 y2 and x3 y3 is the coordinates of the third node so this is the area half of it i must say half of it okay so 
this is area the first shape function is given by given by 1 over 2a 1 over 2a and then what we are going to do replace x1 with x y1 with y and we get the first shape function so this is a determinant of 1 x y 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 so this is n1 similarly n2 is given by 1 over 2a and 1 x1 y1 then 1 x y 1 x3 y3 is n2 and similarly similarly n3 is given as 1 over 2a and we have 1 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 and 1 x y determinant of that okay. so we have this so n1 is function of x and uh, n1 n2 n3 all of them are function of x y now okay so now we know n we call it n matrix is equal to we can compose now the n matrix based on this one now so here we can write n1 equal to n equal to n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 and then second row will be 0 n1 0 n2 0 n3 so since uh, this is three noded elements hence we have three times two six there, there will be six columns here the two by six matrix okay and now b will be accordingly three by six matrix and we will see on the next page so once we know n so we can find out b b matrix is even as as we have seen earlier so this is del n1 del x 0 del n1 del uh, del n2 del x 0 del n3 del x 0 okay so only three nodes or th uh, three shape functions so we will have till here only okay then second row will be 0 del n1 del y 0 del n2 del y 0 del n3 del y and third row will be del n1 del y del n1 del x del n1 del n2 del y del n2 del x del n3 del y and del n3 del x like this one okay so b can be composed if we know del n1 over del x and so on okay so so value of del n1 over del x we have already uh, found we already found uh, when we solve the 2d heat transfer problem so both of them del n1 del x or del n1 del y both so same values we get here uh, we write it here del n1 over del x equal to nothing but del over del x and then we uh, we have 1 over 2a and determinant 1 x y 1 x 2 y 2 1 x 3 y 3 like this so this is nothing but 1 over 2a and we get 0 0 1 0 and 1 x 2 y 2 1 x 3 y 3 and what do we get we get simply y2 y2 minus y3 so equal to y2 minus y3 over 2a okay where a is the area of triangle 
the area of the element which is a triangle and similarly we find uh, del n uh, del n 1 over del y is equal to similarly we can write del over del y 1 over 2a then 1 x y 1 x 2 y 2 1 x 3 y 3 like this okay and then is equal to 1 over 2a 1 over 2a uh, and then you have 1 0 uh, 0 0 0 0 1 1 x2 y2 and 1 x3 y3 and what do we get we will get x3 minus x2 okay so so we get x3 minus x3 minus x2 over 2a okay okay similarly we can extend further so based on this one only so del n2 over del x we can find out so since this is 1 2 3 so this will be 2 y3 minus y1 over 2a and similarly del n3 over del x equal to it becomes y1 minus y2 over 2a okay similarly del n2 over del y we can find out so this is 1 then this becomes 2 3 1 then x2 here and 3 here so similarly so this is 2 so x3 x1 over 2a and similarly del n3 del y equal to 3 so x1 x2 here and over 2a okay so n1 has 2 and 3 but 3 comes first and 2 later similarly we extend it like this one we will get all the values so we have uh, both the differential with respect to x and y both so this completes it so these values we put it here and we can find out the b matrix for the three noted uh, 2d elasticity element so let's write the final form of the b matrix so b becomes equal to and uh, we can have 1 over 2a common so we write 1 over 2a here and then uh, del n1 del x which is equal to y2 minus y3 so we write here 0 then y3 minus y1 0 y1 minus y2 0 0 here we get x3 minus x2 then 0 x1 minus x3 0 x2 minus x1 and here x3 minus x2 
y2 minus y3 x1 minus x3 y3 minus y1 x2 minus x1 y1 minus y2 so this is the b matrix okay so we get b here so in order to find out the stiffness matrix the k e is we know that this is this is equal to the integral over the whole domain omega and then b t d b d omega okay so now what we see here is b is a constant because it has only the nodal coordinates in there d is also constant which is material property as we have seen earlier so turns out whole thing is a constant so this will be nothing equal to b t d b times area like this okay so k e will be equal to nothing but this multiplied by d and b uh, the transpose of b multiplied by d matrix which is 3 by 3 in this case okay and then b matrix again here and then multiplied by area so simply we get equal to b t d b a so we get the stiffness matrix directly from here okay now let's see how the force vector we can get so uh, b the force vector for uh, the body force B, we know that this is equal to integrated over the whole domain and we have nt times B d omega. And we know n actually, so uh, let us see B, let us say B is has two components so bx and by is the body force so what we will get is f b is equal to so omega and transpose of n so nothing but n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 we get here and this side we get 0 n1 0 n2 0 n3 for the triangular three node triangular element and then b which is bx and by and d omega so this is a 6 by 2 matrix and this is 2 by 1 so we get 6 by 1 so this will be 6 by 1 because this matrix is 6 by 2 and this one is this one is 2 by 1 okay so simply we we get equal to so the first one is bx n1 second will be by n1 and so on so what we get simply this is equal to omega n1 bx then n1 by n2 bx n2 by n3 bx n3 by so this is what we get of course integrated over the whole domain so multiplied by d d omega okay so here d omega will be there okay so uh, uh, this is what the fp will look like now f ft is equal to now this we have a cyclic integral over the whole boundaries and here also uh, this is equal to nt 
so n t times t okay so this has the same similarly we have to write here also so we have n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 and 0 n1 0 n2 0 n3 times tx and ty so tx ty and d gamma so this is what the ft will be and this also can be expanded similar way we have expanded here so this becomes simply this is integral cyclic integral and and we have n1 tx n1 ty n2 tx n2 ty n3 tx n3 ty so this is how it will be 6 by 1 matrix go like this and then we have d gamma okay so this is uh, how the force vector due to the the boundary forces or boundary traction this is how it will look like okay so that is all for this video lecture see you in the next one